Hey guys, Cam here from today's iPhone.com and I have with me the fourth generation iPad with Retina display. You can call it the iPad 4 if you want, that's certainly what I'm going to do in the title and the description. Now I'm unboxing this, I know it's the same pretty much as my iPad 3 but I didn't get to unbox that one, my daughter did it so I'm just going to open it up and I'm going to ruin the box. This isn't actually mine, this is Stevens. He's sitting in my office really quietly trying not to make a noise so he doesn't make it onto the video. Actually, I've told him not to, otherwise he gets sacked. Not even a laugh. I'm just going to open this up. Now, slide it open. We should see it's the same minimal packaging. Really tight fitting again as you used to. I'll just pop the iPad to one side. Now, what you'll see in here, obviously in the UK, we get the three pin adapter usual Apple and this is the thing that's changed if I yeah this is a 12 watt adapter so it will charge it faster than what the iPad 3 or the third gen iPad charges apparently you get an extra 30 45 minutes cut off the charging time which is awesome usual little envelope full of Apple stickers and a quick start guide and some information in there Apple stickers and a USB cable here with a lightning connector at the end, I don't know if you can see that if I just grab the iPad quickly I'll take the cellophane I love that noise and we'll switch it on and we'll set it up and we'll cut after it's been set up and we'll show you. I'll just show you the hardware quickly while it's booting up. Obviously the home key, um, home button and the front facing camera is the only thing that's really on the front. On the right hand edge there you've got volume up and down, a rocker and a mute switch and then your camera and your lock key, power button, headset jack, microphones in the top middle there, speaker grills in the bottom corner and the only real difference that you'll notice on the outside between this and the third gen is that lightning port which is obviously a lot a lot smaller than the old 30 pin connector but we're just going to set this up and uh, you, know, you can have a look through and see how quick it is we'll be back with you in a second so here's the iPad switched on, I'll just show you a few of the apps loading up quickly obviously you know how the screen looks, it's the same display pretty much that's in the iPad 3 we just switch between a few apps and see you we get connected to the internet and see how quickly that is today's iPhone. Dot com. Obviously most of that depends on your wireless speed but it does seem to load the pages pretty quick. And there's not really any checkerboarding when I zoom in and out so it responds quite well to that. Um, from reports that I've read it doesn't seem that you'll notice too much performance difference between this. Although the Geekbench results are a almost double what the iPad 3 was. In terms of actual daily use you shouldn't really notice too much so there's nothing really to feel jealous about. You get a smaller connector and a faster processor and that's it. Um, but if you're going to buy a new full size iPad there's no real point buying anything but this one. It's a fantastic device. But we'll have a, um, a post up later on in the week. Hopefully a full re written review up. Uh, I've been Cam. If you want to ask me any questions about any of the new iPads, the iPad Mini, which I've got as well, feel free. I'm on Twitter, at TIP underscore Cam. And a shout out to Stephen, at TIP underscore Stephen, for letting us do this with his brand new iPad that he didn't even get to open himself. So, um, thanks to him for that, and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.